All right, we've done our C in CRUD and our R in CRUD to create or insert a record in R to read. Now we need to allow people to edit, to make changes. So we need two things, really. We need a read to read a record so they can look at it on the screen. And then we need the update to uh, allow them to save any changes they make there. So let's go and start with the stored procedures. And I'll do that, as usual, in uh, SQL Server Management Studio. The first one will name dbo.spvideo, follow the pattern of the other names, underscore, and we'll call it get one, because they're going to go grab one video row to edit. We do need to pass in a parameter, and that would be the ID of the row to edit, the video ID, but in this code we'll just refer to it as ID. And so then my uh, SQL statement is going to be a select where video ID equals that ID. Um, and again, if you'd rather not type it out, um, you can use this little query designer thing. It's just a way to avoid typos. And so we'll say video blah, 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 equal at ID. Click OK, and that should put the uh, SQL statement into the SQL code here. It does, so now we can click Execute. And uh, that should create that stored procedure. And remember, you have to refresh the list to see it. And there it is as a video get one. Now we need an update stored procedure. And that's going to be similar to video insert in terms of parameters. So I'm going to right click that and modify it. I'm going to say create procedure and instead of video insert. This one will be video update. Um, we do need to pass in the ID of the record being updated. So that's at video ID and that's an int. Remember that's a SQL syntax up there. We don't want insert. Let me just take this whole thing out and I'll design a new query. Okay, and uh, video table, title, blah, -de blah, where video ID equals something. Uh, at ID or something. Let's just put a one there for now. Take that off, change type to update values, and that's what we want right there. Okay, click OK, it goes in there. Now we just have to flush it out. Title equal at title. Remember these names here will just match the names up in the uh, parameters, a few lines above this code. And publish will be at, take publish is active will be at is active, and one will be at video ID. And I do believe that will work for our update statement. I don't know why I still got a squiggly there, but uh, it's wrong. Okay, so let's execute that. And it said I'm good. Let's refresh. And we should see video update. There it is. Okay, we can dump this SQL. We don't need, we don't need any of these. Uh, that we use to create the stored procedures. All right, so we have a video get one and a video update now. And the video update you can see is just a straight update thing. And uh, now we can call those from code to do our get and update. So let's leave SQL Management Studio. Go back to our uh, Visual Studio app. So in the code, the get and the update will both be video services. So they go in the data folder under video service.cs. And every one of these CRUD things is going to end up there. Now the order of them in here really doesn't matter. So I'm just going to add this new one under video list. We'll start off with a little comment for future reference so we know what it's about. And now this syntax is going to be basically the same as the other methods in here. Public async task. It's going to return a video object um, because we're you know we're we're editing one video and so we'll call this uh, video get one since you can name it whatever you want it doesn't have to be that specific name all right and now uh, we need to pass that an integer ID so it knows which row to get out of the table inside here we'll start by creating a an empty video object and we'll name it video okay so the video object named video is going to equal a new video object so it doesn't have any data in it or anything yet it's just the skeleton for a video a 
video row, all right? And now we're gonna need some parameters. So we say var parameters equal new dynamic parameters, which is a dapper thing. Oops, I forgot the parens. To those parameters, we will add a parameter that will be the ID being passed in, and that's defined as ID in the first line, and then the database type is gonna be integer 32. And now we need this using code to get our uh, database open and get our connection going. We'll just put all that in there. And instead of videos, it's gonna be video singular because we're only returning one. And for this sort of thing, we would use um, query first or default and dapper, I think. So let's say uh, query first or default async. We know we're only getting one record, so query first or default works for that. And then we have to say of type video. And then we put in our parens and we say which stored procedure, and that's gonna be SP video get one. And then after that, we need to have our uh, parameters, comma parameters, and then comma the, the command type business. And again, we're calling it stored procedure and we're returning video, one video, not videos. All right, so that's good for the get one uh, method. Let me just do a quick build, make sure it doesn't blow up. Good to check your work off and you know. Uh, this has taken a while, which isn't a great sign. Let's see if it's gonna blow up here. I don't see any errors up there. Well, build one succeeded. All right, let's forge ahead. The update's gonna be very similar to the insert, so I'm just gonna copy this whole insert method and paste it in down below that uh, video get one we just created. Okay, um, we can collapse some of these just to unclutter a little. And now we're working down here, and this is gonna be our update method. So we'll just put a comment into that effect. Obviously we need to rename it. And video update will be a good name for that one. Oh, I see a little typo in my comment. I'll fix that too. Um, video ID. So this is our SQL update. Um, this is all good. We do need to pass in an ID though to identify which video to update. So we'll just add that as a parameter. We're passing in the whole video object. So we'll say the video ID is just the video ID and that's always an int or um, it would be dbtype.int32. We are not gonna execute SP video insert. We're going to execute SP video update. Uh, these comments down here were just as a reminder if you didn't want to use stored procedures, but I'm gonna use stored procedures for all these, so I'll just knock those comments out. And then the return true is the same. That'll return true when the update is complete. A lot of times it's kind of hard to wrap your head around all this stuff when you're first learning, but if you come in here to videoservice.cs, you, you start to notice it's the same pattern over and over again. You know, there's a, a method to get the connection string and then a method for each database operation. And let me make sure I clean up my comments a little bit in here so that, you know, when you're looking at this later, trying to remember how it all works, the comments should help you figure out what each... Um, method is doing. Okay, so anytime we add methods to video service, we need to uh, add their signatures to the interface iVideo service. So let's grab the get one um, method signature, go into iVideo service, paste that in under the video list one, and public, we don't need public async and an interface. Just the uh, task, the type, the name is video get one. Oh, I forgot, we're passing in the video ID of the, what is it, int ID. Yeah, we're passing in an integer ID. So um, after the name, we want int space ID, ID, capital I, all right? And then our semicolon. And then we basically do the same thing for video update. We'll copy, I won't copy the whole thing. We just need this part here. 
copy that out of video service, go over to iVideo service and paste that in, and put in the semicolon, and that's good. All right, so let's close and save everything and do a build. We don't have a page for this yet, but let's just see if it's going to blow up. We'll build, see if we can run it. And, well, at least it didn't blow up yet. Okay, so uh, it's taking a sweet time, but it looks like it's going to go. Let's uh, click the videos, go to that page. Uh, there we see our little spinny thing. And, uh, all right, so it's running. Now we need a page to actually go in and look for, or to actually edit an existing video. So we'll get to that in the next video. Okay, see you there.